Hello friends. Well, this is the conclusion of a great topic of the power, the dunamis power of God through the Holy Spirit that is available for our lives. And I thought today I wanted to there are uh, focus in on 11 characteristics of the Holy Spirit. And Jesus was saying in uh, chapter uh, 15 of John, verse 26, and he's talking about uh, the paracletus. And then what I'm going to go through is what that means, that term, and what the Holy Spirit is. So this is characteristics of the Holy Spirit. There are 11 of them. Number one, he's a comforter. And that means one who soothes in time of grief or fear. He consoles to make less severe or more bearable, to help, to assist, to relieve. That's the comforter. That's what the Holy Spirit will do for you. Number two, he's your counselor, one who gives advice or guidance. Number three, he's our helper, one who gives aid to further the progress of or to give relief, and he assists. He is our helper. Number four, he is our intercessor. What he's doing is entreating for us in favor of another, an intercessor. He's standing in the gap for us. He's a mediator. That's what the Holy Spirit, one of his characteristics. Another is he's an advocate. How many of you have had a lawyer that's handled situations in your life? Well, he's our lawyer who pleads our case. Thank you, Jesus. He's a strengthener to help us become spiritually strong, protective. He's supportive with power. This is the Holy Spirit. He has power to sustain or resist attack, and he gives the strength to endure the hostility of the world's system. I want to repeat that. I think we need that today. He's our strengthener. He's going to help us become spiritually strong. He's protective or supportive power in our life. He has power to sustain or resist attack, and he gives the strength to endure the hostility of the world system. The next one is he is a standby one that can always be depended upon. The next one is he's the, the Spirit will help us in our weaknesses. He has the ability to produce, to produce results on our behalf. He has also will give life to our mortal bodies. And then the Spirit bears witness with our spirit that we are the children of God. And number 11, the last one, he will teach us all things and bring to remembrance all of Jesus' words. That means this, the Bible that we read and take in, the word of Jesus, will he will take that word in us and it'll rise up and speak to us in times that we need it. Oh, thank you, Holy Spirit. We love the Spirit of God that is present with us when we accepted Jesus. He came to live and abide with us. And Jesus, I thank you that you're going to make this real and that we will open ourselves up to the Holy Spirit to do more exploits for you in 2024. Love you.